U.S. Ambassador to Papua New Guinea Solomon Islands and Vanuatu Erin McKee announced to the local media today sanctions the U.S. and NATO are taking to cripple Russia's financial economy and to hold its leader, Vladimir Putin, accountable for Russian invasion into Ukraine. The United States and our allies and our partners and our friends are taking action to hold Russia accountable. As a result of unprecedented global sanctions coordination, the United States, the United Kingdom, the European Union, Japan, and Canada have removed selected Russian banks from the SWIFT messaging system and have imposed restrictive measures on the Russian central bank. She also relayed a recent announcement by U.S. President Joe Biden imposing financial sanctions and stringent export controls that will damage the Russian economy and cripple their access to cutting-edge technology. We will limit Russia's ability to do business in dollars. We will stunt Russia's ability to finance and grow its military. We will impair Russia's ability to compete in the global economy, and we are prepared to do more. Papua New Guinea is monitoring the situation very closely. In the recent parliament sitting, Prime Minister James Marabe said the conflict between Russia and Ukraine has affected the country's economy, especially the hike in world prices of crude oil. Ambassador McGee also announced that the U.S. is coordinating with oil producing and consuming countries and energy companies to look into the hike in fuel prices around the world. The United States has also coordinated with major oil producing and consuming countries to underscore our common interest in securing global energy supply. We are working with energy companies to surge their capacity and supply energy to the market, particularly as prices increase. Jumaima Sukba, TV1 News.